Welcome to this tip from EnvisionCAD. Today we're going to look at the site modeler tools that have been incorporated from GeoPack into um, inroads. Traditionally in inroads we had a pad design um, tool available to us in the design surface tool set. That's no longer there. It's been moved over to the site modeler tools. And there is a straight pad design tool and there's a pond design tool. You can also create building pads and ponds or depressions using um, element tools and site modeler tools. There's a distinction between the two of them. If you want to have two buildings in a site with different slopes, you can put uh, multiple pads into a surface. It actually creates two surfaces, one for each, and they can be related to each other as far as elevation goes. Or you can use this method as well. You can have a single surface that has two different sites or pads in it, and if you relocate the surface they both move and they can be associated. So that's just the method we're showing today but definitely the pad design tool is worth investigating as well. Um, especially if you want different side slopes on the two different buildings. But what we're going to do here is we're adding this new building which I'm calling the house into the surface. I'm just going to drape it on the surface and I also want to add a few feet to it to get two feet above existing ground. We're going to get the maximum elevation from that. So once we apply and put that into the surface, you'll see that it automatically merges into the existing conditions. So we get a composite surface for this. So now that we have that building in, the scenario is I want to put the second one in and I, I want to have it tied to the first one vertically, and in this case just two feet lower. So what we can do is associate elements to them. And actually before we get to that, you can um, see that if you just take microstation commands, you can move the element, you can rotate it, you can resize it, add or delete vertices, and uh, the surface will reform based on the geometry of that microstation element. So if we go ahead and add the second one, again we're just going to pick the microstation element and that element ID is kind of a behind the scene um, handle on that graphic on the microstation side, but we can also give it a name as we put it into our surface. And in this case, we're not going to drape it, we're going to say relative to a different element, we want to uh, define an offset, and in this case it's going to be two feet lower. So that first pick button was to identify the element we're importing, and we're toggling on use reference association, identifying the element we're trying to refer to, to define that two foot delta difference. So you can see the contours have reformed based on those two shapes that are in there and the criteria that was defined. And we can go back to that microstation command. If I move one building, you can see there's still that two foot delta in the uh, contours. And I can actually move the uh, secondary building as well. Wherever that goes, it's going to remain that vertical drop in there. Now those deltas can be redefined, um, but in this particular case, the way I did this, both buildings are going to share the same side slope. I can't. Uh, uh, make that different unless they were in different surfaces. But the nice part about doing it this way, if it's in a surface and I like the horizontal relationship between the elements, I could move the entire surface and they both move with it. So that's the tip. Just a quick overview of site modeler tools. Thank you for watching. Check EnvisionCAD.com for additional tips or sign up for a monthly newsletter.